more importantly. And this table is the code requirement for duct leakage. Okay, how much allowable leakage are we, we able to have in a duct system? So at the final stage, we actually measure duct leakage twice. We measure it once. When I first turn this, this unit on, I'm measuring duct leakage in the entire system regardless of where the, the leakage exists. Um, if you look at my tape, so I'm actually taping to the grill cover and not to the drywall ceiling. So if that cover is really not pulled up tight, I'm going to get a little whisper of leakage around that. Um, we do that because I don't want to be re repainting houses. <laughs> There's really no easy way of, of sealing that little crack. So we're, when we test the, the house at first, we'll get some leakage there, and then I'll use in combination my blower door device with this, and I can actually neutralize that leakage there and give us another number. Okay. So based on the square footage of this house, to meet uh, our total duct leakage number of 12 cubic feet per minute per 100 square feet, we have a target rate of 248 CFM on the duct blaster. Okay. So again, being a calibrated fan, uh, got a, a hose that's measuring the pressure inside the device. Got the loose. Don't want any bad readings. Don't want any failures today. So, and this pressure measurement inside the fans going to my gauge. So here I have another reference tube that goes to the duct system. So it's measuring pressure inside the duct. And it tells us when we, we pressurize the system up to capacity. Now, um, one thing is we, typical duct systems are designed for 0.5 inches of water column with air, air handlers today. So we're going to pressurize it to, to 0.1 inches of water column. So first time I did this with an HVAC guy I came running down the street. He's like, what are you doing? Are you going to blow apart my ducts? And when I explained that to him, I said, if I blow apart your ducts, it's a big problem. Yeah. Yeah. So we're, we're really not even at the operating pressure of the system. Um, and when we measure pressure terms, we're actually looking at a much finer pressure scale than the 0.1 inches, so our pressure scale is in the term called pascals. So I'm looking at 25 pascals, which is equivalent to the 0.1 inches of water column. Yeah. All right, do our calibration. So again, this device has uh, various different rings that we can use depending on how much airflow we've got to move for the size of the system. And we need 248, and let's see what we got.
So let's say 205. So code said I had to have 248 and I've got 205. But again, remember that a lot of this leakage exists in the entire duct system regardless of where the ducts are. So I'm getting a fair amount around some of the registers. Um, when I was taping, I noticed some of the registers aren't really sitting very tight. Um, if we had like a two-story house and we had ducts between floors, we'd have some leakage between floors with that duct connection and stuff like that. Um, so from our perspective, all we really care about is how much, how much duct leakage do we have that's going outside the building. Okay? If I'm losing some there, it's still coming to the conditioned space, so it's not a problem. right? So what we do is um, we, you would put that hose outside for me, right? We use in conjunction our blower door, so what I do is I take the blower door and I turn it around and I pressurize the house to our 25 pascals, the same pressure as I'm pressurizing the duct. So what it does, it neutralizes this little leakage that happens in between the condition space.